Hello, in this video I will show you how to sync your files from your hard drive to your PC or uh, from your PC to your hard drive. There are actually many third party applications or even Microsoft has um, sync toy which does the same thing but the method which I'm going to use which is using Robocopy and to sync the files across is um, accurate and it's faster than other ones okay we have we have one source folder as you can see it has these these files and then I put a destination folder which looks like this empty one so we open up command prompt and we this is the okay we type robocopy robocopy source I'll just copy the path and paste it here and from source to destination copy that paste it there okay so robocopy from this source to this destination and the switches I'm gonna use are these ones I just copy them from my script so basically um, MIR is the main switch which is mirror um, so it's saying mirror this folder to this folder um, R hatch is it will retry for 10 times um, and it will wait for 10 seconds and this is excluding hidden files or I think system files as well so that you don't copy other system files and hidden files so we run this quick so it has copied this much these many directories files um, it took virtually zero second so now we see that the destination folder is same as source folder so the source one destination one so they're both same this was more like uh, copy files but if you want to sync for example you have new file additions to source file now um, so we just copy a few files into source file just copy it from here copy a few okay, let's count four files so we copy four more files. So keep in mind we got four more files in the destination folder. Oh, sorry, in the source folder now. So we run the script again. That's it. It has. You can see total is still same. It has copied only four files, and it has skipped all these other this directory and these so it checked it actually compared whatever was already there and just copied the extra four files this will save a lot of time um, and uh, I've been using it for last one year it is it is never wrong you don't have to uh, after you sync two folders, you don't have to compare the files and folders after that. You can just trust this Robocopy. Um, it will, it won't skip anything or it won't do dodgy stuff. Um, that was all. I will leave the, um, leave this command plus these switches into the description. Um, there are a um, few other ways, as I said, um, 
like there is vice versa software uh, sync toy from Microsoft I've used them all um, and I've been using Robocopy now for last one year and it hasn't given me any problem yet um, just few points for this command uh, it is only one way sync you can sync from source to destination so whatever is in source it will copy in the destination it's not other way around so if you add anything in destination and if you using this switch MIR keep in mind it will delete those files basically what it is doing it is just making this folder exactly same ah, sorry other way it's making making this folder exactly same as this so whatever extra in this folder it will delete it whatever missing it will add it so be careful destination folder shouldn't have uh, more stuff than source otherwise it will delete it if you don't want it to delete if you just want to add stuff into destination and just copy the new files and folders from source just don't use this switch so if you simply don't use this switch it will copy every new or modified files but it won't touch the other ones um, yeah and it supposed um, sometimes you might have realized that Windows do not delete few files which are in very long folder structures like the files which are very deep deep into folder structure uh, use robocopy it will delete um, and I think it um, supports like bigger file names as well um, few more things maybe sometimes if you especially with Windows 7 if you're copying from uh, from C drive like if you're not local admin on your PC and you're copying from C drive to your profile uh, it won't work so to make sure that it has all the rights maybe right click your command prompt and run as admin before you run this command um, and that's about it um, as I said I will put this script this it's not really a script it's just one line command uh, into the description of the video. Thanks for watching.